Joining me now to help sort, uh, sort all of this out is QI Research CEO and Chief Strategist Danielle DiMartino Di Booth. Danielle, thanks so much for joining us. So, given all of that, could we be driving the economy towards a recession with all this talk? There are fears among some investors, not only in the U.S., but around the world, because we've seen some very aggressive actions from central banks here and in the U.K., Norway, Switzerland, the list goes on. What do you think of all the noise? So I think maybe the, the contrarian in me sees Janet Yellen not foreseeing a recession, potentially as being the biggest recession flag I've heard yet. Um, if you just want to look at the brass tax, study the data, be agnostic about it, be a data purist, which I, I suggest uh, th th that we all be. You've had continuing claimants, the number of continuing uh, individuals, Americans out of work, collecting unemployment benefits at 90 percent of the population for the last three months, April, May, June. To me, that is a trend. And you just mentioned Ford. That was just one of the companies that announced uh, layoffs last night. BlackRock was also in the mix, and there was a third company that was rather large. Amazon announced its fourth round of layoffs over the weekend. So, you know, the evidence is piling up. We've seen manufacturing slam into a wall. We saw further evidence of that in this morning's S&P Global uh, manufacturing data. So there are, we can debate recession, but the data is telling us we're already there. That's interesting. You know, U.S. office owners, Danielle, getting a dire warning that a rebound, get this, is unlikely before 2040. My math is right. So it's 17 years. Now, this, of course, as property values have been plunging from pre-pandemic levels. How concerning is this, especially that commercial real estate sector? So the commercial real estate sector has seen really dramatic uh, moves, especially office. We've, we're seeing prices off um, quite a bit more than a third off of their highs. And the biggest issue here is you, you do have uh, banks like City saying, you know what, we're not going to deal with whether or not you want to be in the office or not get back to the office. We're not going to take this. We're not going to pay for this overhead if we're not going to fill up these these desks and, and collaborate. But the bigger issue is, I think, that between artificial intelligence and the ability to offshore professional jobs, this is not an offshoring of manufacturing in, in this current case, but I think the bigger issue is structural. We're not going to be filling these buildings up for a generation. And that's why you're hearing these predictions that push us all the way out 17 years, as you just said. Yeah, I mean, that just seems pretty outlandish and a little concerning. We mentioned the Ford cuts, you know, BlackRock also announcing layoffs. And then the Fed is in a position where inflation is still elevated. I know there's a lagging impact and we're going to see more of this filter into the economy. But, you know, we're coming back to the question of the recession. Remember when we first got into this, was it going to be a soft landing, a hard landing? I mean, is this just going to be a rolling recession, perhaps? What do you think, Daniel? Well, it certainly feels like this is a very slow move into recession. A lot of that has to deal with the fact that that fiscal policy put uh, put all kinds of things on hold for years, whether you're talking about paying your rent or paying your mortgage, paying your student loans. I mean, it's not going to be until October that you actually have to physically make that first student loan repayment. So the fact that the, that the fiscal authorities, that the U.S. government, allowed this big cushion means that it feels as if we're going into re recession over a very long period of time. But again, tell that to your neighbor who's just lost their job. Yeah, that's a very good point. I don't want to be doom and gloom, but we are talking about reality here. Danielle, thank you so much uh, and have yourself a great weekend. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Okay, thank you. let's go to the